Hey everybody, welcome back to my world. No matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today, I'm taking a momentarily, momentarily, momentary break from Disney Princess Dolls. Uh, because on a whim, I said I wasn't going to collect OMG dolls anymore. And then, anyway. So these are the LOL OMG Sunshine Makeover Dolls. And this is Sunrise and Switches. And I just like the styling of this doll. Now, the, the thing is, the gimmick on these is supposed to be that if you put them in sunlight, like put them in a window or something, that they change color. So she's going to go from this sort of muted color palette to this. And... I'm not, I mean, I'm going to do it, but I'm not as excited about that as I just am with the styling. I just really love this mod era vibe she's got going on. She's got the way the shoes, I'll tell you when I take it out of the box. But I'm getting like a go-go, go-go girl kind of mod vibe from her. And I really liked that. Then switches is... She's got that whole Lolita thing going, and I'm just, I, it just, it jumped out at me. You know, the pink and the white, and the darker skin, and the black and white hair, and there's lots of pearls and stuff. So I was like super, and then she's going to transform into this. Now, of course, these come in the mail right when we are going to have an entire week of cloudy overcast weather. Now, it shouldn't really make too much of a difference, but just in case they won't change color in my cloudy window, I have my therapy light. So this is, I don't even know what it's called, but this is basically like if you are a person who struggles with like seasonal affective disorder, like you, like you get depressed in the winter cause sunshine, um, and uh, so my doctor actually recommended this one. If I can find the link, I will put it down below in the description. It'll be a link, you know, an affiliate link. They will all be affiliate links if they can be. And I will get a little bit of money. But anyway, it was a little bit more expensive than the... I had gotten a cheap one and I was like sitting in front of a light bulb. Um, I can't say 100% that this thing works. I honestly can't. But... When I'm gonna, when there's gonna be a week like this, I'll put this on. It usually sits on my desk. I'll just kind of hit it while I'm like sitting there doing paperwork or something. Paperwork. Does anybody do paperwork? I don't know. Checking my email, paying bills, whatever. I don't know. Maybe it works. I'm not sure really. But so we're gonna try that too. So let's start with. I think I'm gonna do both of them in the same video, um, because I don't know reasons. So they're $26.99. So there she is, um, and what does it say on the back of her box? I love the pose, too. She just seems so confident. Uh, OMG, when we send that, it's the same stuff that's always on there. Okay, so now there's also Bubblegum DJ. I really want her, too. What are you doing, Amy MGA? Like, what are you doing? I was like, mm -mm, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the OMGs. And then, and then the other one I got down there. And then I finally got the cowboy one. And, and then, I don't know. I was on Amazon. I may have had some wine. <sighs> Things happen sometimes. It just happens. I'm going to get them both out of the box. Try not to confuse their accessories. Uh, how well is this possibly going to go? And then we're going to take a closer look. We'll be right back. Well, they are out of the box. And these are so cute. Just the way they are. They're adorable. So I am just really, really, really excited to see how the color change situation goes. I'm okay, so... I'm going to start with Sunrise. Yeah, her name is Sunrise. So Sunrise comes with uh, her uh, stand and everything is purple. So she's got, she comes with a brush, which is nice because she does have really soft, nice hair. Uh, she comes with two waist huggers, one a little bit wider, one a little bit smaller. You know, the usual. Uh, did I show the, you know how I don't love those glasses. And then, and then, oh, okay. So... 
the really good thing, the thing that got me really excited as I was opening these is they're so easy to open now because they don't come with any surprise crap. I am so happy about not having to open a bunch of little bags and put jewelry on her. I know that <laughs> I get that that is done for kids and that kids really enjoy it. Um, but Melissa does not really <laughs> enjoy it. So I'm really excited about that. There's so much to love here. Even without the color change feature, like I said, she's just got this really mod vibe. So she's got, you know, the high ponytail with the wrap around. And a lot of these styles that are, have kind of become ubiquitous, you know, these were new. These were new, like in the 60s, you know. I loved mod fashion. That was when we got go-go boots and mini skirts and these like crazy patterns and stuff and really big, funky plastic jewelry and stuff. Her hair is like lavender and green and white and like sort of yellow. Her hair is so silky, which I find interesting because I thought that somebody said that they had to use the not good hair. I guess Polly is the not good hair. You know, I think that's the one that's harder to style for the color change, but it feels really nice. Maybe because they didn't have to style it like with a lot of gel or anything because of the style. The other thing that's kind of cute is that her earrings do like, like move around. I wish they were just a fraction smaller because they kind of get wedged in her shoulders. If these were just a little bit smaller, just that would have been cute. Um, here is her face, super simple, plain, with the graphic eyeliner, little freckles, cute little lips. Um, you know, it's an OMG face. Look at these earrings though. These are so fun. So, so fun. And this 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 fabric it is a little stiff like it's not a super luxurious fabric like if you were wearing it you would be very uncomfortable and sweaty but it works it works look at this so underneath her outfit like underneath the jacket she's got a little like mesh top that matches but then this crisscrosses and this is like a faux leather trim it's really cool and this belt is rubber but the paint on it is spectacular I mean, the detail of like painting on the zipper, that is, and the buckles and stuff. Like, you know, if it were rainbow high, these would be real zippers and buckles and this would be a chain. But the, I mean, that is, that is some beautiful work there. And then these are, I was like trying to figure out what it is. Now underneath the jacket, she has these denim and white tie-dye shorts on that are really cute. I'm not gonna like undress her and stuff because I will never get her back in the outfit the way I want to. The other cool thing is this belt kind of thing, it just comes off. It's just, it's just plastic. So you could, you know, just rock it like that. But I think it does look really cute with this big hip hugging belty thing on it. And then it's got like dolman sleeves. So it's, they're sort of like bell bottom sleeves is what dolman sleeves are kind of. Uh, and then of course her nails, because my girls at OMG, I'll notice I'm plugging my nails here, always got to have their nails. Um, and then the socks, I had socks like this. They were, no, they were not breathable at all. The socks that I had like this, they were crap, but I did have socks like this when I was a kid. Um, and these are like, really uh firm like like I'm trying to pull it down and it's like really hard to get it down so I'm not gonna do that um I like it though because it, it almost looks like they're boots and then she's got these wicked awesome look at those look at those heels with I mean it's so cute now she doesn't come with a purse um you know, it, her, her box doesn't turn into a bedroom. I mean, there's, you know, we're going through a period of a lot of cutbacks in doll design because they're trying to keep price points at an affordable level. But with inflation being what it is currently, um, and it, it's just everything is costing more. So um, that's, that's what we're getting that's what we're getting and I would rather like on a doll like this I would I would rather not get like a crappy plastic purse 
um, and you know some bracelets that I'm gonna lose or something uh, and get a really good doll you know like I'm I'm like I, I'm okay with it look at, I don't love these glasses on any other doll but they're working. They're working for me on OMGs. It's so wild. Um, so this was Sunrise, and we're gonna we're gonna irradiate these dolls when I'm done. You know, I just realized I don't have lipstick on of any kind. I had some on at some point earlier in the day. Okay, well this is these are my lips. Okay, Switches is like one of my new favorite OMG dolls. Eh, mm, okay, we'll see if that's true because you know you got Busy BB. Is you know, there's I mean some of the older ones when we were kind of in that like heyday of the OMGs. I mean they were mind boggling, you know because they were before Rainbow High, so they were doing Rainbow High like stuff on these dolls, and then we eventually got that in Rainbow High. But I mean some of you go back and you look at like the OMGs from like 2020. Um, even 2019, I think they were, because 2020 is that missing year. I'm like, did dolls come out in 2020? I mean, I know they did, but you know, 2020, the year that everybody forgot. Okay, so switches. I love, love, love the Lolita aesthetic. I would never, I just don't feel like I'm, pfft, it's not me, you know, I'm jeans and t-shirts, jeans and sweatshirts, shorts and t-shirts, like, that's me. You know, me dressing up is like a $20 maxi dress I bought on Amazon and some costume jewelry and pretty flip-flops. That's me getting dressed up. But I do love this aesthetic. And I don't know if you guys remember a channel called All About Meep. Now, I'm going back 10 years ago, okay? 8, 9, 10 years ago. All About Meep, uh, she made videos with dolls and she used like her American Girl Bitty Babies. Um, oh gosh, who else did she? It was a lot of her American Girl dolls and some other dolls thrown in. And she used to make the funniest, oh, oh, duh, duh, La La Loopsie. The La La Loopsie Babies. You remember the little, the La La Loopsie Littles? Nunya Business? Does anybody remember Nunya Business? If you were a kid and you grew up on YouTube, you might remember all about Meep. What does that have to do with the horse on Springfield Avenue, Melissa? What it has to do with this, by the way, that's a, one of my favorite sayings, um, is that Meep is now uh, a fashion influencer and this is her jam. It's all kawaii, Lolita, she has like a Depop, you know, and, and you can follow her on Instagram. She's gorgeous and her outfit of the day her shoes i'm just always like oh my god so that's immediately who i thought of when i saw this so her stuff so she comes with a white stand and a pink pink brush and sunglasses or glasses that i actually like these are so cute. Look, they even have the little dangly thing. She's just adorable. Look at, so she's got this cute hair. She has that hairdo that I'm digging that they're doing on the OMGs lately where they're like tying their hair into bows. Here's her face. Super simple. We've got, look at these cute little like, oh, how cute is that? Are those stars? What are they? I think they're little, uh, they're little butterflies or something. Or little sparkly like things little sparkle things so cute look at this necklace thing like look at this we've got gold with pearl beads on them so 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 cute and then we've got that on the necklace and then on the bodice it's this beautiful pink and white with these pearls and some netting up here is so like so dainty and delicate looking Look at her sleeves. They are so, so cute. And if you turn them in the right way, so, you know, you get her elbow. She's got the little bow. She's got these phenomenal fingernails. She's so pretty. I'm loving the sleeves. I am, I am just, oh, God, look at these sleeves. Oh, my gosh. She, oh, love her. And then she's got this super 
poofy tutu like thing going on. Now I want to show at the bottom of the shirt we get a black get some black edging and then at the top of the skirt there's some eyelet. The skirt is like it looks like she's like a uh, what are those things sky dancers <laughs> looks like sky dancer wings. Um, it was stitched so that it was stitched down to her skirt and I, I clipped the stitches because I wanted to see the skirt but this is like how it looks before you take but as soon as you cut the kajinkers doing but it's really cute but I love this skirt. Look at this skirt. Look at the way it is designed. I think that is like so sexy and figure flattering the way it kind of it like mimics like cut off shorts but it's really like just this really cute and like it zigzags on this side and gingham on this side and like it's really really fun. It's, it's not really gingham it's I'm not sure what to call that but it has a gingham esque. Look at the pearls. And I'm trying really hard not to touch them too much because I don't want anybody any to fall off. But they're kind of big. I mean, I think they're pretty substantial. I think they'll stay. I love that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the poofy skirt when I display her because she does look like a sky dancer right now if I keep it on her like that. Let me see. Can I... Is this Velcro? Can I de-Velcro the skirt? Or is it sewn on? Uh, oh, that's sewn together, I think. Oh, oh my. Okay, well, that's a keeper. I'll figure something out. Or maybe we'll just display her like that. It's the world's biggest peplum. Um, and then we come down to, she's got her lacy socks, and then these boots, which at first you look at it and you're like, eh, pink boots. No, 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 no. The accents, these super dainty accents are painted white. I want you to see how small that is but it is detailed in white so freaking pretty 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 that's 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 this aesthetic to me is just pretty look at these heels like yesterday uh uh lucy meep had a pair of shoes that had like heels like this and she had like the little lacy socks and it's like oh my gosh um yeah she is just Oh, I didn't really talk about her hair too much, um, except for, so, you know, we've got these cool little bow things. She also has uh, little braids here, like in her little, in her little pigtail bits. She's got braids. It's some cute baby hairs going on there. Um, it's, it's not as soft as Sunrise's. It feels a little, a little more stiff. Like this doesn't feel like the same kind of hair. I don't know. Someone who knows these things, like zombie corn or somebody, zombie X corn. I always skip. I'm always just like zombie corn. It's zombie X corn. Uh, you know, he probably knows. Yeah, Jay knows everything. He knows hair. Um, she, she's gorgeous. So now I am going to put them both on their stands. Oh my God, these. Oh gosh, they're so cute. I'm so happy that I. I, I had a couple glasses of wine and decided, yeah, I'm going to buy them. Okay, so we're going to put them up here. I'm going to put their glasses on because I think the plastic in their glasses is color change as well. And let me put your glasses on. Did I throw them out already? Because you know me with these glasses. Oh, she's wearing them. <laughs> you know what's really funny? This is me. I'm just going to show you right now how often you have no idea how much this is going on in my house. I have glasses on top of my head and glasses on my face. And then sometimes I'm like, where are my glasses? Don't get old, kids. <laughs> you don't ever have to grow up. You will get older, but you won't grow up. Um, but you will start to have senior moments where your glasses are you're wearing five pairs of glasses and you don't wear any more. Okay, I'm going to let me try and plug in the light. I don't know how fast this happens, but we're going to try it in real time. Okay. Try not to have my lamp fall down. Okay, so I'm not in the picture, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm just checking to see like if I'm gonna notice anything right away. I mean, so far, not so much. Oh, I just noticed her nail is like not molded right. She's missing half of her nail. 
Oh well. So what's going on? How's your day going? <laughs> Anything happening? Anything? Anything? Oh. I'm probably going to have to put them in a window for like a day. Huh. Not much happening here. Not much going on. Okay. Well, so here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> so bright. Ooh, it's like one of those spooky, spooky. I am, uh, I'm going to turn off the camera. So I'm going to turn off the camera because I think it's going to take longer than I, th is it doing anything? Wait, let me go on the other side. What is she supposed to look like? Her hair is supposed to turn purple. Let me try and put their hair towards the light. Go into the light. Go into the light with your daylight hair here. Okay. I'm going to go, um, Hello. I'm gonna, uh, we'll leave them like this for a little while and then we'll come back and see if anything happens and then if that doesn't work, we'll try a window. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the story. I have been trying for a week to get these dolls to change color. And now granted, we did not have the sunniest of weather, but they have been sitting in the window for four hours on a bright sunny day. And this is about as good as it's gonna get, I guess. This is about as color changey as we are going to get. I had her facing this way, so. And it's funny, as soon as I pulled her away from the light, it started changing back. Sorry, the lighting is horrible because I'm going right into the sun. And then, let's see. You know, I don't care that they don't do a dramatic color changing thing, quite honestly, because I love them. Um, but just, you know, to set expectations for the kids, I really, really wanted to try. So that's just my message to you. I am going to call this, look, I look like my froggy stuff. Huh. I am going to call this the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again real soon. Love you. Bye.